Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking on that thumbnail to hear about some new fragrances that I've added to my collection. And I also want to share with you a few newer houses that I have gotten some fragrances to sample from want to share my thoughts about them with you and introduce you to them you might be interested in exploring these new houses the first is a fragrance that i had sampled quite a while back and really liked it at that time but i wasn't collecting perfumes and didn't want to add it to the small collection that i had at that time which was maybe in the neighborhood of like 30 fragrances or so but there's no denying that it stayed in my mind recently when a flanker of the original of this came out we're talking about flower bomb ruby when that came out i got really really interested in that one the bottle's gorgeous and thought maybe i want to add that to my collection I have the original Flower Bomb and I love that one. So when I looked at reviews for Ruby, some folks were saying that it was a lot like Flower Bomb Nectar that, and if you had Flower Bomb Nectar that you didn't need to get the Ruby. So I went right back to <laughs> what I had sampled a while back and that's Flower Bomb Nectar and sprung for that instead of flower bomb ruby this has the gunpowder note at the top that a lot of folks talk about that gives it to me like a smoky opening a sweet syrupy smoky opening that some people say smells a little bit metallic and they don't like it i like it i think the opening of this fragrance is fantastic this is to me a very very super sexy fragrance it's a syrupy kind of sweetness heavy heavy floral like mashed florals together with syrup on it there's vanilla and tonka bean in here i find this to be a very alluring fragrance and i love the little bottle that it comes in then a fragrance that I talked about in my sandalwood video, please check that out if you haven't already and if you're a sandalwood lover, Santal Vani from The Seven Virtues that I got off of Sephora. I really, really like this. I find this to be a very clean and elegant sandalwood. It also has vanilla and myrrh in it, but I will say by and large that this is like a linear, clean sandalwood, very cozy and comfortable, but clean. Not clean and like the ingredients that the company uses. Yes, Seven Virtues is a clean company. I mean clean in that, I don't know, it's just, it's a really sort of what I consider to be a classic sandalwood fragrance. I think I mentioned in a previous video that I'm done with purchasing travel sprays. I have enough travel sprays to take on every single trip that I plan to take for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> but in this next case, having a travel spray did pay off because I liked it enough to purchase the full bottle. Now I have to figure out what I want to do with the travel spray. Maybe keep it to travel or maybe give it away. It's Tory Birch Knock on Wood. What a gorgeous bottle. The lid looks like a cage and the bottle is this gorgeous orange color. Very simply, this smells something like beautiful pencil shavings to me. It reminds me a lot of Toy Boy in the black bottle from Moschino. There's rose in here, blood orange. I think there's another floral in here and vetiver. So no notes that come across solely as woody, but somehow it comes together to smell a lot like pencil shavings to me, which I like. I enjoy that smell. If I didn't know any better, I would say there's a little bit of sandalwood almost in the vein of Santal Vani. Very unisex fragrance with a touch of floral and I like it a lot. These next two fragrances I blame on my friend Giselle at GB Fragrances. We were chatting about lots and lots of different fragrances and she mentioned two that caught my attention. One is Patchouli from Reminisce, which she described as just a beautiful, true patchouli fragrance. And I think that that is right. If you like patchouli, this is dominantly, predominantly patchouli. It also has vetiver and cedar and a little bit of a leather accord in there. There's supposed to be some softer notes in here, like I think tonka bean and vanilla. What I get out of this mostly is a really beautiful, earthy, not too dirty patchouli, sort of a raw patchouli. So if patchouli is your note and or you would like a patchouli for layering purposes, this is a beautiful choice, patchouli reminisce. Giselle also recommended a fragrance that I have been looking at a lot but was scared to purchase. I believe because I heard people saying that it smelled like popcorn on them. Maybe I got this mixed up with another fragrance because I don't smell any popcorn in this at all. And it is Olympia Legend. Listen, this is 
a beautiful find. Beautiful, beautiful. It's heavily fruity. I get a really strong apricot note, which is one of the top notes in here, and some other fruits, and vanilla. If I didn't know any better, I would think this had a really sort of syrupy watermelon in it as well. But I definitely get that apricot. There's plum as well. And then this super sweetness. Giselle said it smells like a really decadent ice cream, like a vanilla ice cream. And I think that's right for me with the added fruits in there. It's super beautiful. Uh, super glad to have this. I have Olimpea Intense and I have the Aqua version. And I enjoy those too. And this is completely different from both of those. I picked up Tom Ford's White Suede, which I believe I have heard Pam Jordan talk about, and it really intrigued me the way that she described this. I read a lot of reviews on this and was a little bit nervous to pull the trigger. I got the big bottle, and we know that Tom Ford big bottles are not inexpensive, so this was a commitment. This comes across to me, wait for it, like suede. It smells like a beautiful new suede that has hints of musk, a little bit creamy, slightly aromatic, like there's some herbs in here. And it's very much like a your skin, but much, much better kind of fragrance. I think this is really pretty. It's not for everyone. I would not suggest this for people that don't like leather or suede or those kinds of accords that smell like musky skin. Really, this is my kind of thing. I enjoy this. So um, yeah, I'll be wearing this a lot. Glad that I picked this up. The next fragrance is one that I've been trying to get my hands on for a long time, and it is a non-Splendida version <laughs> of Bulgari's Jasmine Noir. So not the longest lasting fragrance. You'll get a good half a day out of this, but this fragrance is sensual. It is, a, it's, uh, can I say erotic? Is that okay? <laughs> clutching my fake pearls. It has jasmine and gardenia and almond that mix together in just the most intoxicating fragrance with vanilla and musk and tonka bean. It's a powerhouse of a fragrance while it lasts and is one of the most feminine concoctions that I think is really just alluring. Very, very come hither, snuggle into my neck femme fatale kind of scent gorgeous and i love this bottle i'm on a bulgari kick lately yeah i think i'm going to be purchasing more i have tuberose mystique that i recently purchased that i love and since we're going into spring i might be hitting up like the overt overt uh kinds of scents from bulgari Recently, I got into the Orientica line from Al Haramein. It's a new, newer, I think it's newer, at least I've heard about it more recently, line from Al Haramein. I purchased several from there, including Cure de Orientica, which is the black version bottle of Fleur de Orientica. And of course, you know, I had to have this one too. The completionist in me said, get that one too. This is very, very pretty. It is a clean, soapy floral that could be a great t-shirt fragrance, office fragrance, elegant lady going out to brunch with her friends kind of fragrance. And the bottle here, hello. The packaging that it comes in, I'm looking around for it. Oh, it's over there. <laughs> it comes in a coffret, a coffret, a coffret that looks exactly like this. Really, really pretty fragrance. I have to give it a full wear to tell you about the longevity, but I really enjoy the smell. Took a chance on a fragrance that I hadn't heard of. I was shopping on Fragrance by CA, and then you know how it is. You go down a rabbit hole looking at <laughs> things you hadn't even thought you needed in your life, and this is one of those. And I'm not sure what I think of it. My husband's not crazy about it. I kind of like it, but I want to play with it a little bit more. It's from Rasazi. I'm going to try to pronounce this name. Forgive me if I get it wrong. Samao, Samao al Rasazi, Mali Eau de Parfum. It looks like this, and the reason I had to look down at the website for it is because it is in a different language on here. I really like this bottle. This smells a lot like something that I already have in my collection, and I can't quite put my finger on it, but whatever it is, I like the thing that this reminds me of, and I have to play with this a bit more. It opens up with sweet and citrus notes. It has vanilla, hazelnut, mandarin, it's got amber, and then the base has sandalwood, musk, and oud. I definitely get muskiness and oud, and I definitely get like a soft, round citrus with that vanilla. 
I don't know about the hazelnut or the mandarin specifically, but yeah. All right, so this is a maybe. I will check in with you guys about this in a future video. I blind bought a pretty expensive fragrance that I found at a pretty good deal on Fragrance Buy. It had rave reviews. I went on and looked at YouTube videos, much like you're doing right now, trying to figure out, is this something that I would like? Does it align with my taste? Do the reviewers that are looking at this and liking it, do they usually talk about fragrances that I like? And it checked all the boxes. It got here and I think I like it. I don't know that I love it. I definitely think it is a sophisticated fragrance and I'm not influenced by the brand name. There's just something about this that's a little bit elevated in terms of uh, how it smells. And it's Hail Bop from Tiziana Terenzi. Gorgeous bottle, definitely rave reviews. I'm gonna tell you what this reminds me of. Shalimar. Does it smell like Shalimar? Not exactly. I wouldn't say that they are dupes of each other or twins rather but they're definitely in the same family so notes on here cinnamon nutmeg and lemon at the top vanilla geranium patchouli and sage in the middle and then amber in the base with some musk and other notes this is very much a powdery shalimar to me softer more toned down if you like shalimar but it's too much of everything that it is for you and you want something maybe a little bit more I hate to use the word refined but that's the only word i can think of right now maybe subtle is a better word softer you might want to try this out. I did do a full wear on it. I will say here's a good lesson for this and the next fragrance that I'm going to talk about. Listen, <laughs> spraying on hand and sticking your nose in it is going to give you a very different experience than if you actually do a full day wear with the fragrance on your skin and on your clothing. So on hand, I was like, eh, I'm not sure about this one on my hand. I didn't dislike it, right? But I was like this, I'm not sure this is what I was expecting. Then the evening that I decided to spritz it on, as I walked around, the waft of it coming up to my nose, I was like, this is a really pretty sophisticated fragrance. I still don't know that it's gonna be like a favorite for me, but I definitely give it its props. Do we remember that word? Is that like a 90s word or an 80s word? I give it props. <laughs> I give it respect for what it is. It's definitely a nice fragrance and I'm gonna keep trying it. So the same is true with the next fragrance. When I sprayed it on hand, I was like, I think I like that, but I'm not sure. And there was something about it that was irritating me to the point that I felt a little bit of resentment. <laughs> for all of the reviewers out there, many of whom are wonderful friends of mine, that they recommended this. And I was like, mm, I don't know how I feel about this. It is Accento Overdose. The bottle, hello, gorgeous, gorgeous bottle. But here's the thing with this. So what happened was I sprayed, what had happened was I sprayed it on my hand and it smelled a little bit too floral with some greeny, chemically kind of thing going on. But that was on hand. What I had not done and what changed my mind was, surely all these people aren't crazy. I did a spray, a full regal royal spray on this body of mine and my clothing. And then I got it. I was like, oh, now I understand. I was walking around in this cloud of very elegant florals, like a clean, happy, uplifted, beautiful floral that I would wear to an affair like a wedding, a daytime wedding, a business event where I wanted to be the queen of the show, <laughs> to a family affair where I wanted to smell like I have my life together. This is a glorious, glorious, clean floral fragrance. End of story. I'm gonna introduce you, if you haven't already met her and subscribed to her channel, the beautiful, lovely, adorable Sunny from Sunny Scents. She is just a light here on YouTube, such a sincere voice, uh, just a beautiful lady, beautiful soul. I enjoy every one of her videos. As soon as she uploads, I am clicking on that thumbnail to hear her. She gifted me a few fragrances out of the kindness of her sweet little heart. And I adore them and I'm so happy that she sent these to me. I wanted to share them with you. My very, very first 
for, uh, 4160 Tuesdays London fragrance. I don't have any others from here. I have heard from Marshall at Marshall's Blends Fragrances. Hey, Marshall, about over the chocolate shop and still have my eye on that one. But this is Silk Lace and Chocolate Eau de Parfum. What a fun little fragrance. It's chocolate, like a really soft, mellow, like a baking chocolate with strawberry. There's a strawberry note in here. It's light and airy and fun. Uh, a great everyday t-shirt fragrance, bedtime fragrance, that kind of thing. Delightful. She also sent me 10 mils of And the World is Yours from A Lab on Fire. What an interesting, bizarre fragrance. Husband did not like this very much. I like the weirdness of this. It's such a heavy orange blossom fragrance with heliotrope and cumin and some other notes in there that um, I think give it a lot of depth, complexity. I think there's vanilla and tonka bean in here too. Really strange fragrance, very, very polarizing reviews. So if you're the kind of person that likes to explore those weird scents, check out And the World is Yours. It's very strange. If you like fragrances you can predict, don't buy this, you won't like it. I can't stop sniffing it because there's something really bizarre and interesting about it to me. It's made by a perfumer who has made some of my very favorite perfumes, Dominique Ropion. It is from A Lab on Fire, and they make Freckled and Beautiful, which is a, a fragrance that I've been meaning to purchase now for a while. Really, really cool scent. Next, I have three lovely newer fragrance houses that I would like to either introduce or remind you of if you've already heard from them. I would really like to go ahead and give away three of the fragrances, one from each of the houses. And the giveaway rules are simple. Don't worry about following, tagging, all of that stuff. I just ask that you leave a comment saying, I am interested in, tell me the name of the fragrance, and please have a way that I can contact you. Either be on Instagram so that I can DM you, or send me an email using the email in the description box. But leave the comment first, and I will just go in order of who watched and made the comment first. That's the easiest thing for both you and for me, and we don't have to wait weeks to see who won the giveaway and all of that, because guys, that's just way too complicated for me. Okay, so the first fragrance house, I uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce. I think it is Portrayer or Portrayer. Portre totally making that up. Anyway, the founder is Samantha Miles and she reached out to me, kindly gifted me a fragrance called To Portray in this very sort of minimalistic kind of bottle. She says, when I first created what would eventually become the Portray fragrance, I wanted something that could enhance my profile without changing it. A scent that would help put the best version of myself forward, featuring some of the most universally loved notes in perfumery. This is a very soft fragrance that she's right, enhances your natural skin without competing with you or your personality or coming into a room before you or anything like that. It has as notes bergamot, ozone, cedar, and ambrette. What I get out of this when I sprayed it on is a soft, pretty, light, elegant, citrusy, musky kind of fragrance. It's exactly the kind of fragrance that I enjoyed wearing heavily in my 30s and I still enjoy now, but almost wore almost exclusively at that point in my life. So if you'd be interested in a fragrance like that, first of all, check out the new website. Here is the web link for it. And then leave me a comment. I am interested in to portray. Imperia Fragrances reached out to me and sent Oshun 5. This is, this is gorgeous. It's not for me, but it is a really pretty fragrance. I want to share with you a little bit about it. They list it here as sexy and tropical. Yes and yes. Remind you of everything sweet. I think this is a little bit more tart than sweet to me, but it has some sweetness in it. The notes are at the top, exotic fruits and plum blossom. 
the, the thing about this that isn't for me is that it comes across a little sharp, like it has rhubarb or one of those kind of tart notes in it. And that's just not my thing, but that doesn't make it a bad fragrance. In fact, it's really quite beautiful. My husband loved this. He thought it was he thought it was really pretty. I just don't see myself wearing this, but I would like to give it to someone who is going to really enjoy it. The middle notes are mango, magnolia, and frangipani, and then in the base, white wood, vanilla, and coconut milk. So it smells really nice on the skin. It had great longevity and all of that. Definitely a tropical fragrance. I th definitely think of tropical fruits, but there's a tartness in here. So if you like that and you like the sweetness combined, this might be a fragrance that you'd be interested in. Drop me a note in the comments if Oshun 5 from Imperia Fragrances would be of interest to you. And last, but certainly not least, is Stargaze Fragrances. And I think they go by that name on Instagram. I learned about this company through the founder, whose name is Frank. Here's a picture of Frank and his fireman buddies. Frank is the gentleman in the back of the photo. He founded Strike Gold Shave back in 2007. I saw that first on Instagram. My husband is into shaving products. He uses the big, you know, wet shave products and all of that. And I started to follow on behalf of my husband and then saw that they were coming out with their own fragrance line. And somehow Frank and I connected. I don't remember quite how, but I really like Frank. He's a really super nice guy. He's starting up this new business and sent me eight fragrances from his line. I wanna share with you some of the favorites from the group of fragrances that he sent me and also share a discount code for 15% off Galaxy. So he's got his fragrances very reasonably priced at this point. And I do want to share that he is changing out the packaging, the labels and the caps will be different soon. So what you see here is not what will end up on the website or what you'll end up getting. So keep that in mind. So I'll start with the fragrance that I'm going to do the giveaway for. It's called Gemini. By the way, the boxes come like this. These are all inspired by fragrances, by the way. And you know how much I love my inspired by houses. This is inspired by Roja Elysium. And for those of you that are not familiar with that, it smells very much like Creed Aventus. This is well done. Listen, this is a really, really nice version of that fragrance and of you know, Creed Aventus, if you're into that scent profile. So I have uh, several dupes of this already and uh, don't really need another one, but I like this a lot and would like to give it away. So if you're interested in Gemini, drop me a note in the comments. He also sent me Pisces, which is a dupe for Imperatrice from Dolce & Gabbana. I think you know that that fragrance, the original didn't quite work out for me. But here is a nice dupe of that if you're interested. He sent me also Stella Maris, which is a dupe for Armani's Vert uh, Malachite or Malachite. Of all the fragrances, this is maybe the least like the original and very, very green. It reminds me quite a lot, as a matter of fact, of Eden from Cacharal. So there's that. The ones that I totally loved and thought, man, these are really spot on. He sent me Virgo, which is a dupe for Victor and Rolf Bonbon. I have that. And yeah, this is identical. Really, really nice. He sent me Rosette, which is inspired by Lost Cherry. Spot on. No difference between these two fragrances. Really, really well done, this one, Rosette. We also have Cassiopeia, which is a dupe for Dior's Midnight Poison. So it's citrus and rose and patchouli and really nicely done. I enjoyed wearing this one. He sent me also Orion, which is inspired by Midnight in Paris from Van Cleef and Arpels. And then my favorite from the entire bunch that he sent, hands down, <laughs> is Aurora, which is inspired by Angelique Noir. And that is this Angelica and vanilla that is really just delightful. It's sweet and it's green at the same time. It's almost like the toned down cousin of Ani by Nishan or Nishane. 
I really like this. This is probably my favorite from the whole bunch, although I liked everything with the exception of that Burt Malachite. It just um, wasn't my fave. The others are really nicely well done. So check out Stargaze Fragrances. Again, the code is Galaxy. No kickback from me. That's just 15% off for you. There are a bunch of fragrances on there. I have no doubt that Frank will grow this library of fragrances as time goes on. And we love to support first responders. So thanks so much, Frank, for your generous contributions to my fragrance collection. I've really enjoyed interacting with you. And all, I hope you go check out Stargaze Fragrances. That is my mini haul and giveaway and gift lineup for you all. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Take care, friends.